It's Roger from Photoshop Island. Hey, I just wanted to give you a couple of quick uh, tips and examples of things you can do with the new holiday uh, products that were just released this year for 2010. Uh, first, I want to show how to uh, maybe play around with the uh, holiday greetings and just a standard uh, family snapshot or, or maybe something done by a professional. But a real easy thing you can do with these greetings is you can just take a photo and uh, put a message right on them. I'm going to show you how I do that. Uh, first off, I want to play with the layers a little bit, so I'm going to uh, get my layers open over here, and I'm going to make a new layer because I want to work on a new layer. And then what you want to do is just pick a holiday greeting. Uh, this is assuming you've already loaded uh, the greeting brushes, and I've already got those loaded. So you can just pick a pick a brush, and uh, these brushes are very large, so uh, I'm working with a little bit lower resolution image, so I'm going to lower the size of that brush, and we'll just jump over here. And uh, you can see I've got it about to the right size if I just want to slip it up here in the corner. Um, we'll maybe go just a little bit bigger, 200 or so. Again, that, this sizing would just dep depend on the size, uh, the resolution of your um, actual image. So anyway, I've got a new layer, and I'm going to um, sample a color before I stamp this down. A sample a color out of this red shirt, because I think that'll make a nice... Uh, match here for our message. So a sample, maybe a little bit darker red. And uh, I'm on my new layer and I'm going to go back to my brush and I'm just going to stamp down. Now that's really the <laughs> easy, super, super easy way to uh, take advantage of these. And um, let's just make a new layer and we'll pick another brush and you can see that you can just do um, you do all kinds of things with these brushes. Uh, again, now this is really large, so let's knock this one down to around 200 again. And we'll see kind of where we are. Two tw that's 226. There you go. See, you could Now, if you want to, uh, let's just say, hey, I'd like that to be a little bit bigger, and I don't need it to be straight across. You can go in and play with the brush settings and uh, might just rotate this a little bit or even put it all the way. 90 degrees you can see we could get it quite a bit bigger that way so we'll go and go up to like 300 and 370 or so and um, I'll just use the same uh, let's close this out of our way just use the same red color I've got it on it again I'm doing this on a separate layer just in case I change my mind and just stamp down and great you've got a greeting there that's a real simple way. Now, another thing you could do to dress something like this up is you might add another layer in and um, put uh, put a little dark um, gradient over to the side to kind of help set that off a little bit. But this is uh, this might just depend on your particular image. I'm going to grab the gradient tool and uh, we'll just do a. And again, I've got, I'm on a new layer. Let's put this below our message. I'm just going to drop a little gradient in here. Something to play with. Um, gives you some ideas of what you might do to dress up just a basic image. I'm going to grab that. and You can move that around. You might even, after you have it on there on a layer, you can even play with rotating it. So that's a really simple thing you could do. And there's 40 different messages in the holiday greeting packet. Now, the other thing I'd like to do is show how to use one of the new retro templates. So we've got an image here. This is just assuming we're kind of starting over again. I've already got a template open over here. And I've uh, over here in the layers, I'm going to pull the layer palette out here a little bit. I've got uh, some, some directions here. Insert your image below this clipping mask or insert your image above this one so you need to fall somewhere in here I'm gonna uh, pick one of these jump back over to my image and can just grab these images this is a this is uh, we need to take this maybe off the background this is a Photoshop CS5 um, thing you can just drag drop and that because I pre-selected that red layer or red clipping mask before I drop the image in it actually automatically dropped in the same place. Now the resolution of the template 
is actually larger than my image, so I'm going to enlarge that a little bit, and uh, we'll make it fit here real quick. Do a little rotation, get it kind of how we want it. You can see, and uh, if you go past the edges a little bit, because we've got a clipping mask all set up here for you, you've got no problem at all. Now something I like to do to dress these up just a little bit, uh, this one already has a lens vignette on it, but if you want to add a lens vignette sort of effect to the image within the template, the best way to do that i found is uh, if you go down to this image mask and uh, control or command on that layer, it'll make a selection of the clipping math and then uh, mask and then go up and put a, a uh, mask on the image. And then what I'm going to do is I'm, I've got this optional uh, vignette layer here set up and you just need to option click on that and drag those effects onto that layer and then you get this extra vignetting on the inside of the image. Now, you also, of course, can completely customize the message here. Let's say you buy this template and you want to use it for next year. You can change it to 2011 very easily. And, of course, you can change the message. And so you've got a you've got it customized. You can also you could go in and select that type and maybe make the font a little bigger if you wanted to play with that a little bit. And uh, this is a, a uh, font uh, that is available for free for your own use called Mom's Typewriter. And there is information in the uh, retro uh, holiday greeting uh, product gallery about how to download that font, where to download that. Now something else I wanted to show you relating to how easy this is to work with. Let's just say you happen to have a vertical instead of a horizontal image here. It's pretty straightforward. You just want to grab these corners and you want to grab the base. You, you basically want to grab everything that's related to the image, which would be from this base all the way up to the corners. So I've selected all those. I hold, held down the shift key and selected all those layers. And then I'm just going to do a, a command or control T and I can rotate that whole batch of layers and I could also scale whatever I needed to do in here to put uh, to convert this to a, a, a vertical image. And then this uh, information here you can uh, just move around and if you want to grab the uh, that was a command or control click on the year and the greeting. You can move that down. Move, you can adjust a little bit here and there. You might even want to scale this a little bit. Um, well, let's see. If I'm going to scale it, I want to scale it with the year and the greeting. So you could do a scale. You can even consider overlaying over the photo a little bit or something. So very easy to play with. Move the message around. You could even move the message to the top. Uh, if you liked, then you'd have to go back in and again select the picture group. And I have auto layer select turned on, so I'm just auto selecting that. And go back and get my greeting. And So you can see it's really easy to move these things around. You can kind of play around with it. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to take advantage of the new retro holiday card templates and also the 40 holiday greeting Photoshop brushes. And make sure and check out PhotoshopIsland.com to see all of the details about those products. There's also some great holiday freebies. If you don't want to buy, you just want to take advantage of some of the free stuff, there are some templates on Photoshop Island where you can create your own holiday greetings and there is no charge. You can just enjoy those and make use of those uh, to your heart's content. So thank you and uh, happy holidays from Photoshop Island.